Look at that crap. 187. 189. Almost $200 a month am I I'm paying in interest charges on my credit card. Almost $200 a month. And I bet I bet that is on the low side of what a lot of you guys are paying. And just interest charges, not minimum payments, but interest charges. So basically just giving money, just giving money away. And my credit card's at a 2 point, not 2, sorry. A 12 point like a 12.1, 12.2%, which is high, but yet not as high as, I'm guessing, a lot of your guys' uh, credit card interest rates. Uh, when I get back home from Japan, I'm going to give them a call and see if I can get that lowered. I might actually, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty bad, 200 bucks a month. That's making me want to pay it off even quicker now because that's just money. Money I can easily be using for other things. Things, even if it's stupid things, that's money that could be easily going to something else, not some freaking corporate's pockets. Why do we allow ourselves to get into this mess? Why do we allow ourselves to get wrapped up and enslaved in this? And it's basically that's it. We make the choice. They trick us. Okay, they trick us, but they don't force us, and we are we get stuck in this mess by our own free will. So, and then we stay in it. There's there's certain cases, um, certain cases where it's it's hard to get out, but a lot of times we choose to stay in it because we'd rather do other things. We'd rather party. We'd rather go out than stay home and save our money. And I'm I'm guilty of doing that as much as anybody else. I'm guilty of spending my money on other things rather than putting it into money I owe someone else. But that just I'm fed up. I'm fed up. And if you guys can see, this past month I've been freaking killing it. I've been killing it, working. Working away from home for a long time, which sucks, but it's it's well worth it. This trip is well worth it, because I paid off my TSP loan. I'm paying down my credit card quite a bit. I want to get this paid off within a year. I want to get this paid off within a year. I don't know how you guys are, but how I am, I'm pretty good with managing my money if I pay attention to my accounts. If I actually make a conscious effort to go look at my accounts and keep track of everything and look at it, I tend to spend less. It's when I get tired, I guess tired of life and I just want to buy shit and I want to do all these projects and I just want to do stuff. And I stop looking at my accounts and stop looking at what's coming in, what's going out. And then I know, I know that... I've been spending a lot of money, so then I get afraid to look at my bank account because I'm afraid to see how little money I have left. And so then I don't look at it, and then it just gets worse because I don't, I don't stop spending, and unless I know it's way out of hand. But yeah, that's I don't know if that's the same thing with you guys, but I'm gonna try to make the effort to keep an eye on everything, to actually look at my accounts. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be putting a uh, video out. I'm actually finally starting a legit budget and learning how to use the ins and outs of like Excel or Open Office or what have you. So I want to make a video to show you guys my update on that. But yeah, 200 bucks a month. 200 bucks a month I'm paying in interest charges. That is, that's stupid. That's so stupid. So freaking stupid. Well, I hope, hope I'm inspiring someone else to, to finally go ahead and do it, because this sucks. I, I wish a lot more people would team up and just get them get each other out and just really encourage each other to, to get out of debt, because this really sucks. Well, if you guys if you guys enjoy what you see, hit that like button. If you guys hate it, hit the dislike button subscribe and follow along uh, and yeah let's get through this together